Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now today marks the end of week one of Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express. So far we've met our three design contestants, Joanne, Minenle, as well as Rudolf, and we've met their three industry mentors. We've met our three Winner Home judges, as well as our property finance expert, Tim Akinusi. So for those of you who missed out on any of the action, here's a quick look at what went down. Winner Home is the biggest, baddest property show on TV, so it's really great to be part of it. You've got all of the elements that make uh, for great TV, but also for great property expose. We've got huge expectations for the season. We're going to see some tough challenges, particularly excited about following the progress of these designers on a daily basis. You can't get more real than that. And I'm sure we're going to see drama, great ideas, and ultimately a beautiful result. At Plascon, we really believe that beautiful spaces can really enhance your life, and we love showcasing that. So the Winner Home collaboration is fantastic for us because it gets to show people what is possible with paint, with colour and with design and you can actually do it yourself as well. I think we're looking for something that is memorable, first of all, distinctive, something that um, shows attention to detail, something that has delight and just an all-round great experience of going into a space that you want to stay in. Viewers are going to be able to experience the whole process of how young talent pick up clues from, from current designers, uh, artists, looking at um, the elements of architecture and design and grow and develop throughout this process of creating these amazing spaces. After weeks and weeks of searching, we decided on three young designers who themselves will compete to win a 100,000 Rand cash prize and an internship at one of South Africa's top interior design and decor studios, ARC in Cape Town. Yeah, and first up, we have Joanne Fenter from Bloemfontein, who is a candidate architect and freelance photographer. And secondly, we have Minet Lenduli from Durban, who is an architect, avid photographer and amateur soccer player. And lastly, our final design contestant is Rudolf Bjorn. Don from Cape Town, who is a qualified interior designer and lecturer. Why did you enter this competition? Because I always try to challenge myself to do something new all the time, and I thought this was the, bet, the competition to do it, because yeah. you get um, pushed into this thing, and mm. there you go, make the best of it. <laughs> what do you think yeah. stood out about the three of you, respectively, that made you really get selected in the end, out of all the entrants? I think we were all very versatile. We do we don't do just do one thing. We um, showed multiple talents. Yeah. I think. And you, Minenke? Um, exactly what she just said. Because um, getting to meet these guys, I uh, got to understand that they're very versatile. Um, like like with me, um, I have a lot. My background is architecture, but I'm branching off into other fields from graphic design to photography. Mm, yes, so creative. and you're also a lecturer, Rudolf. Correct, yes. Apart from just being an interior designer. Yeah, so I'm really being put on the spot here. So mm. you've all met your mentors. How do you feel? Personally, I'm very excited with my mentor, and um, I was extra happy that it's a female. I feel uh, that would work well. She'd add that feminine touch. The biggest thing I'd like to give this contestant is belief in themselves like, and also that they also sometimes just have to fake it. You have to fake that confidence in yourself. You need to back your decisions, you need to, you just need to go down that path. I want the end product here to be really something spectacular and in order to get there, you can't be a sissy. I'm so excited. What I'm looking for is an enormous amount of talent, enthusiasm, um, the willingness to actually do the hard work and just to be fearlessly creative. And I hope we have a fantastic working relationship because I think if you've got a good relationship with somebody that you work with, half the battle is won. I'd like to be a collaborative mentor, someone who helps network the young designer with, with the networks that we have in the magazine. I really want to work with someone who's got quite a clear vision, a good, strong vision. I think you're never too old to learn from young talent who have new ideas and to watch how those are shaped into a very defined competition space. The designer needs to work within that space, yet give it, give it character, give it some meaning. I think as judges we're going to be a lot tougher on the contestants this year. They've got immeasurable support this year. You know, you're talking about magazine editors, you've got all of the trend insight, the design insight that they bring to the show. So it's really about great ideas, breaking the mold is going to be the trick this year. 
This time, I'm going to be looking for originality and creativity in the design. The quality and innovative use of materials, but also taking the environment into consideration. Seeing that we designed the architecture of the, the Polar Village, I also think the, the location is also going to be quite challenging um, for the contestants. So I quite like the, uh, the challenge of seeing how these young designers are going to interpret the architecture of the, the spaces that we've created. Of course, it's a lot easier sitting on this side of the table. I think I am going to be quite demanding because this year we have professionals and I think we expect a lot from them. We've had a great history with Winner Home over the last two years. Uh, the show has been a really entertaining show. It's provided a lot of ideas and it enables us to connect with our audience and continue to educate people about the various aspects of home ownership with a lot of ideas sharing and information sharing about um, real estate. And what we've gotten out of that is we've been able to showcase just how important real estate is in the lifestyle context and more importantly on the design element is how design can influence and enhance value of property over the long term. When renovating a home, uh, one needs to consider the purpose for why they're doing the renovation. As a principle, it's important that um, they are renovating to enhance the future value of the place. So ideally, each uh, renovation needs to consist of both functional and um, aesthetic changes to the place to ensure that the investment in the renovation project gives them a return in future. So in season three of Winner Home, I think the new format would allow us to have great dialogue with our audience and allow us to talk about uh, real estate and how it can be used to improve their lives, regardless of their life stage or income bracket. For us as a bank, the show continues to be relevant to us because it allows us to connect with South Africans um, in a fun way on a subject matter such as um, home ownership, which is arguably the uh, largest investment that consumers would ever undertake. Sure, we are so excited to have Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express for an exciting third season of Exquisite Design. Every weekday, we follow our talented design contestants as they turn empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. And the best part is that you can enter the grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za for a chance to win a finished apartment valued at, take a listen to this, 3 million rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Now after the break, we put the finishing touches on our dinner of traditional tagliatelle bolognese. Should be delicious. Spray! 